what is going on my friends it's your friend jack and today we're going to be talking about something pretty darn cool we're going to be taking a look at some public domain images and websites and i'm going to talk along with you guys on how you can use these images and websites to actually propel your sales make more designs that are high quality without actually paying for a subscription to see all these other services but I'm not saying you should be subscribed to places like Placeit and Canva. I think those are great offers and great options for people who don't have any graphic design experience and want to just make it easy as possible for themselves to pump, pump out some quality designs in a short amount of time. However, if you do have those platforms or if you don't and you want to spice things up, add a little bit more to your design portfolio, then I definitely would recommend watching this video because we're going to be covering how you can really use these public domain images from these five websites that I talked about in another video on your print on demand designs today to make more sales and just get a little bit more, you know, variety. One last thing to note, well that's two, but one more thing to note before we dive into the video is you need to make alterations to these public domain images still. You can't just copy and paste them on these websites. You have to change something about them. So don't go and just copy and paste these images and clean them as your own. By altering, that could mean flipping it, kind of putting a filter on it. That could be adding text. There's a lot of different ways you can alter it, but mainly you want to check the license under each image you download to see what types of things you need to do if you want to be more cautious and just keep your accounts protected. So without spending an hour going over the sites we're going to use, I'm just going to go through them right now and put them in the description, all five of them. We're going to be covering PH here, and if I go to the next tab, rawpixel, publicdomainvectors.org, freesvg, and publicdomainpictures.net. If you want access to any of these websites, I'll put them down in the description so you can have access to them for absolutely free. So the first website we're going to be looking at on giving you ideas on what you can do with these images is I'm basically just going to, I typed in dog and what I'm going to give you guys is a few ideas from each website on the types of things you can do with these images without actually going and doing them. I'm just going to give you guys ideas and what I think that you can utilize these free basically public domain images for. So in terms of dog, the first idea that come up to mind, and obviously this isn't really a dog um, if you didn't know, but <laughs> we'll go through here and what you could do, an idea that just popped into my head because I've seen a lot of people do it for other am animals on Redbubble. And what I would do is basically get a few dog pictures that are kind of similar looking at you. Like take this one here, take the face out and crop it out in Photoshop, then crop this guy's face out, crop this dog's face, crop this dog's face. Just grab the face and you can make a simple dog sticker pack. So there's an idea right there. You don't have to pay for these images, they're free. Make sure when you're using them, you click on them and see the license. So these are free for personal and commercial use, no attribution required. And there's also some other rights down here and you can see basically everything that goes along with them. And all these images sites are gonna have little notes like that, so make sure you check the notes before you download and use the image on how you can use it. But if you just take the face off each of these images, you should be good to go. And that's just an idea that I had right now. So now let's move to the next site and I'll give you guys some more ideas on the things you can do with the SVG and other types of images. All right, so the next website is rawpixel.com and I typed in dog again, but you're gonna see there's a lot of these, you know, basic dog images that you could make sticker packs with and do all types of things if you take their heads out or you alter them in some way you could put a filter on them you could basically outline it like a cool color like rainbow you could do something like that make it a nice sticker but raw pixel doesn't only have photos they also have things like this and this pug is a perfect sticker but you can't just post it like this you need to alter it so you could put like a really cool stroke on it along with some funny text a funny phrase or a passionate phrase that kind of attracts a certain niche is a really good idea. And what you can do is basically use Photoshop or online Photoshop, Photopia, to make designs for completely free, use these types of websites, and you don't have to pay for a subscription, and you have a lot of really good free images you can use in tons of different niches. The next website is publicdomainvectors.org, and this website is, once again, a really good website for basically getting public domain vectors. If we search up dog here, you're going to see we have a ton of dogs, and these are not photographs. This is actually just SVGs, so you can change the individual elements of each part of these photographs. A lot of them are sub, like sectioned off into their colors, so you can change the browns to blues or stuff like that. You can alter them really, really easily. You can make this silhouette a whole different color. You could mask it. So take you, say you have a silhouette like this, you could mask over it. And I, I don't know if you know how to do this in Photoshop. 
and I can't make separate videos on that, but there's tons of tutorials to mask things like textures and stuff on animals or onto images. What you can do is mask like a rainbow onto this, make it a sticker, make it a sticker pack of four, tons of different things you can do. And you're going to see I have a red bubble ad right here, but you can mask this basically like mask something like this horse, this horizon right here in this ad onto the dog and then sell it as your own sticker. That's another option and you don't need to pay for anything, any software. You can use online Photoshop and you can do that really easily. You just need a little bit of design experience. So the next website is very similar to the last one. I think it's actually just a better version of public domain vectors, freesvg.org. And all the links to these websites are going to be down in the description. You can click on them and go to them right away. You can even bookmark them. I use these, I use these websites quite frequently, but we're going to search in dog once again here. We're going to see what comes up and you're going to see there's a lot of similar images that we see in the last one, but there's also over 20 pages of dog images. And there's things like this that are kind of already made designs. And what you can do is often you can take things like this, change the text on them and still have this perfectly intact design. And it's in the public domain. Obviously double check the license. You can click on it and go to the license page. And things like that are going to be able to help you make designs without spending any money. So if we go back to the website, you're going to see there are tons of different ways that you can basically utilize this website and you don't always have to make sticker packs or you don't always have to add just text. You can mask textures over things. You can put multiple of these images together. You can change a lot of things in a very simple way to make it your own. And a lot of these are great graphic resources, especially when you're trying to add to a basic text design, adding a simple image, you know, small or big, just adding a little bit of kind of more creativity than just text will help draw people who are looking for a funny phrase but you added a nice cute dog to it so instead of just being a funny phrase there's now a little bit of you know emotion attached to it there's that mental picture that visualization of actual you know the niche that you're in and this isn't just applied for dogs you can put cats all types of animals all types of niches and this website has thousands and thousands of free the last website we're going to be looking at today is publicdomainpictures.net and once again we're going to look up dog and I know that you guys kind of have the idea of what you can do with these types of images now but I just want to look at one more website and show you guys another way that you can go along these websites and take these images and get ideas because you don't always need to take the images and utilize them right away. What you can do is also get ideas like I said earlier masking rainbow over something. This is an example of that. It's like they just mask some rainbow over a blank silhouette and bam, they have a wiener dog with a rainbow sweater on. So you don't have to be a super talented graphic artist to do something like this and it looks really good. If you put that on a sticker, it's going to look really good. You could take this right here, color grade it a different way, so make it a different kind of rainbow, add some text to up top here like something like a wiener dog joke and then bam, it's your own. You can put it on a Redbubble and you can even donate to the people making these. Make sure on this website you are checking the, you know, the terms and conditions because some of these do have, you know, licenses on them, especially on this website right here, public domain pictures on that. You need to be careful, but you don't need to be too careful. And there's a lot of really good, absolutely free public domain images that you can use and they're free. So there's not really that much to lose. You go to these websites, take a look, see what you can get, even get ideas from these websites on different types of designs you can make. And yeah, it's really good websites. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I know my camera's kind of weird right now. It kind of like, I don't know what's going on, but if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button and comment down below SVG. And I will make sure to heart your comment. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great freaking day. It's been your friend Jack. Stay blessed. Keep striving. Peace.